Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 37 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 36. And that is called mean value theorem. Mean value theorem is nothing but extension of Wolf theorem. Same thing here, if you have a function from a, b is my domain and range is r is a continuous function on a and b and is differentiable on a, b, then there exists c such that f dash c is f b minus f a by b a minus a. So in our case, in Rose theorem, this guy is to be equal to this guy, f b is equal to f a. So this used to be 0, correct? If f b is equal to f a, this is 0. But mean value theorem is a more generalized version of this theorem where we don't have the third condition that f b should be equal to f a. So this is the graph. And if my a to b is my domain in this, this is my f a, this is my f b, then there exists a c where f dash c is nothing but f b minus f a by b minus a. So you don't need to find the exact value of this, just directly you can find using this equation using mean value here. So how to solve such kind of questions? Again, same thing here. So if, if you have function from a b to r and f is continuous on a b, f is differential on a b and see please note the third condition is missing now here only two condition is true then there exists a c such that f dash of c is nothing but f b minus f a by b minus a and that is how we generally solve mean value theorem questions. We find the value of f b, f a and b minus a and we get the value of f dash c. So let's take one example. We have to verify the mean value theorem for this fx in interval a, b, where a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 4. So first thing, is it continuous? Yes. Why? Because it's a polynomial function, this guy. Is it differentiable? Yes. Because it is polynomial, so it is differentiable. Conditions are met. That means we can use the mean value theorem. Mean value theorem says that there exists a c such that f dash of c is nothing but f of b minus f of a by b minus a. Correct? So let's find f of b and f of a. f of b that is 4 is nothing but 4 square minus 4 into x is 4 minus 3 that is 16 minus 16 minus 3 that is minus 3. Similarly f of a is 1 that is f of 1. I can write this as f of b. This is f of a. It's nothing but f of 1 that is 1 square x square is 1 square minus 4 into x that is 4 into 1 minus 3. That is minus 3 minus 3 that is minus 6. So I got f b I got f now the theorem says there exists a c f dash c whose value is nothing but f b minus f a by b minus a. What is the value of f b minus three? F a is minus six. The whole thing divide by b minus a that is four minus one. This is nothing but minus three plus six that is three by four minus one three that is one. So I know that there exists a f dash c is equal to 1, correct? Such that I have my num I have two things for c. First thing is c is between 1 and 4 and the second thing I know that f dash c is equal to 1, correct? From this I have to find the value of c. So I have dash c, how to get this? If fx is equal to x square minus 4x minus 3. I can find f dash x here. That is nothing but 2x minus 4. And if f dash x is 2 minus 4, f dash c is nothing but 2c minus 4. And 2c minus 4 is 1 they telling. Correct? 2c minus 4 is 1. Why? Because f dash c is 2c minus 4 and that is 1. And I get c as 5 by 2. And if you see this guy, c is nothing but in this range 5 by 2 is member of 1 comma 4 because this lies somewhere in between 2.5 thus 
my MVT is verified. So you see here, mean value theorem is verified. What I have done? I first proved that this function is continuous and differentiable. Then I found the value of f c using the formula f b minus f e by f b minus a that came out to be one. And f dash c during this equation is nothing but two c minus four. Equated these two, I got c as five by two. And also so uh, found that this guy c is in this domain one comma four. Thus my m b t is very high. Let's take one more question. So the question says there's a function from minus five to five. The dominant range is R. The differentiable function and f dash x does not vanish. That means f dash x is never zero, right? We have to prove that f of minus five is not equal to f of five. So again, since the question of mean value theorem, we have to first prove whether it is continuous and differentiable. But it is already told it is a differentiable function. If it is differentiable function, it has to be a continuous function. So my these two conditions are true. That means I can apply mean value theorem. So this is a pretty simple question. If I'm saying f dash x doesn't bear, uh, vanish, I know that f dash x and there is something f of b minus f of a by b minus a. And this is not equal to zero. This is not equal to zero. That means f of b minus f of a is not equal to zero. And this means f of b is not equal to f of a. What is the value of b here? Five. That is f of five is not equal to f of a. What is the value of a? Minus five. Hence proof. Correct. Just by using MBT, we have proved that. This f of b is not equal to f of b. This means that only actually because this is a comma b and this is f of a f of b. Since f dash x does not vary anywhere, you take any point c, you take any point c in this range, f dash c is not zero. So f dash c is nothing but this guy, correct? And this is never zero. Since this is never zero, this is also never zero. Let's take one more example. So here also we have to verify the mean value theorem for this. In the interval, this very similar question which we have done. So this is a polynomial function. So this is again continuous. Since it is continuous, it is differentiable also. All right. Since it is differentiable, I can apply MBT. So the first thing to apply MBT is MBT says that there exists a C such that f dash C is nothing but f of b minus f of a by b minus a. Correct. So my b is three and a is one. So let's find f of b. f of b is nothing but f of three. That is nothing but x cube. That is three cube minus five into three square minus three into three. Correct. That is three cube is twenty seven minus nine into five is forty five. Forty-five minus nine. So that is my f of three. So that is minus twenty-seven. Let's find f of a. Is nothing but f of one. A is one, and there is nothing but one cube. This is cube. Minus five into one square, minus three into one. One minus five minus three. There is one minus eight. There is minus seven. Correct. One minus five minus three. One minus eight. That is minus seven. So I have got f of a. Now the formula says f of c is this. This is nothing but f of b that is minus twenty seven minus f of a that is minus seven. The whole thing divides by b minus a that is three minus one. This is minus twenty seven plus seven that is minus twenty by two that is minus ten. So I got f dash c as minus ten. Correct. So f dash 
c is nothing but I'll, I'll just find what is the c before that let me find f dash x is nothing but you differentiate this guy x cube becomes 3x square minus 5 x square become minus 5 into x square become 2x and 3x become 3 correct so this is nothing but 3x square minus 10x plus minus 3 this is f dash x so f dash c is nothing but 3c square minus 10c minus 3 correct and this value is minus 10 we know so this is nothing but 3c square minus 10c plus 7 is equal to 0 if you solve this equation we will get c as 1 or 7 by 3 now if mvt is correct the c should be part of 1 comma 3 correct if you see 1 is not the part of this because I'm saying excluding this so 1 is not the part of this 7 by 3 yes 7 by 3 is belonging to this set so I can see that 7 by 3 is the only point where f dash c is going to 0 and thus I have proved my MVT. Correct? Because we wanted to verify MVT and we verified it. We found the C is to be 7 by 3 that is satisfying this condition. Let's take the last example of this uh, chapter. Same question which we did for uh, Rose theorem. Same question which for Rose theorem we are doing for MVT. We have to verify the applicability of mean value theorem. First two not applicable why because integral this is not continuous so not differentiated the first two condition is not met but here if you see in this same example the Rose theorem was not applicable because f of 1 was not equal to f of 2 but in the case of MBT that condition is not required correct so there if you see this guy is continuous why because polynomial function this guy is differentiable why polynomial function so here we can see that yes the mean value theorem is applied can be applied in these two we can't apply this and if you want to find the value of c we can do that so in this case my f of b is nothing but f of 2 because my b is 2 that is 2 square minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 similarly f of a is nothing but f of 1 that is 1 square minus 1 that is 0 so my f dash c is nothing but f of b minus f of a by b minus a correct b is what f of b is 3 f of a is 0 by b is what 2 and a is what 1 so this becomes 3 so f dash of c is 3. What is f dash of c? f dash of x is nothing but x square you differentiate you get 2x. So f dash of x is 2x. So f dash of c is also 2c and that's value is 3. You see both are f dash c. So from this I get c as 3 by 2. And if you see c has to be member of a comma b. Correct? Now if you see 3 by 2 is member of a, 1 comma b. That means I can say that my MVT is verified for this case so that MVT is applicable for this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.